Hey guys, Beefcake. We are headed to the NMRA race, the NMRA World Finals, Beach Bend, uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky. Sorry if my hair is a little messed up, what hair I got. Um, but normally we'd be competing in the 860 Street Bandit class. However, my crew chief, my backup crew chief, and my second backup crew chief are all unavailable this weekend. So we decided to go old school instead of trailering and setting up a big uh, big uh, tent at the Vortec booth. We're just going to drive down, uh, bring everything that we need in the back of the pickup truck, and uh, go race this weekend and drive home. We're going to be competing in the 1010 Street Bandit class. Uh, set up a Vortec uh, F-150. Uh, we've actually went to a larger head unit, the uh, V3 JT slash 2200. A little bigger than the st standard unit that comes on the kit. Um, hoping to go some low tens in this thing and be competitive in the class. Uh, the goal is to drive it four hours, race it, drive it back home four hours. Uh, that's how we used to do it years ago. That's, the, you know, if you've been following me for 25 years, you know, that's how I used to do it when I raced. I traveled the country in my uh, 2001 Ford Lightning. We actually won a couple national events. We did really well with that truck. So uh, pretty excited. A little different, a little nervous. I haven't, I haven't just driven to the track for a while, but it's kind of old school. It's the way a lot of the guys do it. They just load up their cars or the trucks. They drive to the races and they go race for the weekend and drive it home. And, and you know, part of that will be we want to showcase what this Vortec Suncoast uh, F-150 can do. You know, Vortec and Suncoast, they're our primary sponsors, along with uh, Viking Fuel Injector Clinic, uh, BMP. Uh, they all take care of us. Finish Line, of course, does all our builds for us. Uh, but anything that's on the truck you can buy from us uh, LTH exhaust they take care of us as well you know we've got their full system headers green cat so we are driving this in a, a full uh, you know catted setup we're going to drive it four hours we're going to race this weekend we're going to drive it back home uh, our tuner uh, our F-150 tuner, Josh, at Five Star is going to be there this weekend, so we're going to do some fine tuning. Uh, we did some base tuning on the dyno. We only got to the track one time. Track prep was horrible, so we never really got to dial it in. So hoping to dial it in this weekend, uh, run some good numbers, and show you guys what a centrifugal can do on these, uh, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a Gen 4 or Gen 3 and a half F-150, but uh, 21 and up pickup truck. I think uh, the truck's going to do pretty good. So we'll try to keep uh, trucking along this week weekend and uh, let you see what's going on. Now one thing I wanted to point out on the suspension. So we have the uh, VA Specialties 3.5 kit. They took care of us on that kit with the Viking double adjustables in the front and rear berserkers because this is a high horsepower but you know we do drive it a ton on the street so that's why we like the berserkers. If it's mainly track we go Crusaders. If it's an NA uh, we go with the Warriors. Uh, typically Warriors with berserkers on the front but it's a, it's a pretty good setup. Nice thing is You've got 22 settings on each shock. Uh, I set each one of them front and rear, four on the front, compression and rebound, uh, four on the rear, compression and rebound. And that way on this drive, this drive all the way four hours, we, you know, the truck's going to be nice. It's going to be comfortable. It does, it's not jarring. You know, I hear some people talk like some of these lowering kits, 3.5 kits, they just don't drive good. I mean, these things, this thing drives great. We always recommend upgrading to the double adjustable Vikings just to give you more control on the suspension, especially if you drag race or anything. Being able to control that compression and rebound is huge. So I just want to throw that out there as well on the suspension. If you're going to drive the truck four hours, you know, if you guys know me, you know, the most important thing to me for my customers, I don't want you buying something and uh, being disappointed with it, unhappy that you bought it. You think that it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. And I think, uh, uh, you know, we run what we sell, we sell what we run, and uh, that's why you see me recommend these a lot. We really like the uh, VAS 3.5 kit with the Viking double adjustables, and that's what we recommend most of the time. But anything suspension-wise, you know, we can dial you in on any brand that you like, we, we carry. So hit me up with any questions this weekend if you're down at the race. So if you look here, guys, we've been driving about three and a half hours. We're getting 16.4 miles a gallon on E85. I'm about 160 miles into the trip. Not too bad for E85, 800 wheel. And as you can see guys, uh, we just pulled off uh, about 10 minutes, 15 minutes from the hotel, filling up, pump E85, nothing special in the tank.
Hey guys, coming to the uh, towards the end of my four hour drive back home from the uh, NMRA Bowling Green event. Had a pretty good time down there. Um, you know, Josh from Five Star was there. He does most of our truck tuning. Real happy with how the truck's running. We've got a few things we still got to sort out, but the truck's really going to be fast once we get it all dialed in. Uh, first pass, we went 11 uh, 1, but at almost 133 mile an hour, which really shows the potential of the truck. Uh, that was, I think, uh, at one. Uh, 16760 maybe something like that second pass uh, didn't get a good burnout and the track was what just wasn't all there and uh, we spun a little bit on the hit so it's kind of just not a good run there for the third qualifying run I just wanted a good full clean run so I decided to do a second gear leave launched in second gear one, I think it was 164, 16760 foot, but it was clean run all the way through. We went a 1070 at a, a um, oh, what was it, 130, 132, 133 mile an hour. So really showing some potential there. First round of eliminations, I figured we'd go out and go home because, you know, figured we'd run around a similar number. Actually went a 108, uh, not down a 15460 foot which I was extremely happy with, with the two-wheel drive truck. Could not complain about that at all. Um, but the one, two, and the two, three was hanging up a little bit. Um, might have been hitting a limiter. Problem is the uh, track wouldn't let me have my laptop. They said it was illegal ballast, so we couldn't get any data from the run, unfortunately. But we did change some things in the shift points and stuff for uh, second round. I, I actually made it through the first round. Uh, guy was way off on his time, so we moved on. Got another pass today decided to turn it up even more uh, not turn it up more but just decided to you know try a little bit different on the uh, foot braking on the launch stalled it up to about two grand got after it one four eight sixty foot one two shift was money then we hit some kind of a torque source that we don't know why or what we're hitting um, so I'm sure Josh will get that figured out so I went a 10 8 uh, 127 mile an hour so or 120 I think 27 so down a bunch on the mile an hour but that's because again we were pulling timing down two degrees three degrees from you know 23 degrees of timing so we lost a lot of timing there um, but the potential is definitely there with that 148 60 foot and I was pretty sure the truck had a 14 in it uh, that truck's going to go 1030s in the heat I mean we're we were out there in 85 degree weather so the uh, the DA is not very good I think good air we're going to go 1020s 1010s once we get everything sorted out and again that's only 12 pounds of boost on this uh, Vortec Paxton kit I'm very impressed with this kit you know a lot of guys say oh, you can't run a centrifugal on an F-150 you know doesn't make any torque blah 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 we do have the Suncoast converter in there but you know even our guys with our Whipple builds and our you know BMP builds Pro Charger builds every build that we do everybody always ends up doing a converter converters are great equalizer you run more you just run more stall with the centrifugal but you know one four sixty foot out of this uh, little blower 12 pounds of boost I am extremely extremely happy with this thing I mean this is a package that we offer that's you know thousands of dollars less than anything out there on the market uh, so if you're looking for a kit for your f-150 I highly recommend taking a look at our Vortec and Paxton kits I mean you're talking uh, you know one to two week wait time too so the wait times are great on the kits but we're going to get out there we're going to keep trucking with it um, you know, we'll get the uh, tune sorted out. Like I said, Josh at Five Star, you know, really happy with how everything's going on. And again, this is the first event we've got to go out and actually try to do any logging. And then we only got to log two of the runs. So we're, we'll get the tune sorted out. We're going to go some low tens, then maybe add a couple more pounds of boost and, you know, turn this into a nine second truck. Um, but again, you know, suspension wise, ES35 kit with the Viking Berserkers. Drives great. I mean, it's smooth. LTH exhaust, zero drone. It was just a fun, fun weekend. Four hours each way on the drive. I mean, you can see the truck's not loud. It's not droning. But when you get on it, I mean, it's... Got some great sounds with those blow-up valves and everything like that. The exhaust sounds good. Um, it's just, you know, it's a really fun truck. Super happy with it. But any F-150 parts you need, uh, converters, clutches, the Suncoast clutches, the McLeod clutches, any of the clutches in the transmission, uh, headers, anything like that, we've got for the 21 and up, we've got the LTH and the um, 
uh, uh, Cooks released theirs and Stainless Works as well. So we got all those. Uh, the new USA Wells S81 HDs like I got. Just tons of compliments on the truck this weekend. Everybody loved it, thinks it's super clean. We're really happy with it. And I know a lot of you guys are following the build and I really appreciate that. I get a lot of good uh, uh, comments out there on the uh, Facebook and the forums and, and on, the, on our YouTube. And we're trying to build up the YouTube. I, I stay real busy. I don't always have a lot of time to, to mess with it, but I'm trying to do more videos, keep you guys on the build and you know, just keep going along. We'll keep trucking and put this thing down in the nines. Appreciate everyone.